Welcome to another episode of Barry D's 80s Music Video of the Day. I'm your host, Barry D, bringing you one 80s music video each and every day. And if you notice, I have no microphone. That's because the guys up in the booth up there keep thinking I'm going to kill myself or somebody else the way I whip it around. So they went to a boom microphone system. We'll see how it works out. Hey, listen, I bring you one 80s music video every day. You know it, you love it. And sometimes you don't. But forget it. You get what you pay for. While you're here, join my Facebook page and also uh, subscribe to my video channel. That way you can check out all my old episodes. There are hundreds of them there. Somebody's going to watch them. My mom doesn't anymore. Listen, this is a commentary show. So first I'm going to talk about it and then your video is going to pop up over here. Don't cry to me that you can't find the video. It's at the end of the show. So let's get to it. 1988. Tiffany Darwish, she began singing at the age of four when she learned the words to the Tanya Tucker song, Delta Dawn. In 1981, Tiffany debuted with country singer Jack Reeves at the country and western venue Nayrods in Chino, California. She passed the hat among the crowd afterwards and collected $235 in what was her first career earnings. When Tiffany was singing at the Palomino Club, she was discovered by Hoyt Axton and his mother, and his mother, that's Hoyt's, May Axton. May took her to sing in Nashville, Tennessee, where she performed on WSMV's The Ralph Emery Show, singing Juice Newton's Queen of Hearts and Tammy Wynette's Your Good Girl's Gonna Go Bad. In, <laughs> I think she took some lessons from that. In 1984, Tiffany signed a recording contract with George Tobin after he heard her sing on a demo tape. 1985, she appeared in Star Search. This was her big shot here with Ed McMahon, where she finished sec in second place overall. And then in 1986, she signed a contract that gave Tobin total control over her career. <laughs> Sounds like Elvis and the Colonel. Recorded a debut studio album and was signed to an MCA contract. The album, Tiffany, that was released in 1987, but the first single she released from it was called Danny. Didn't even have a video. That failed to chart. Following the crash and burn of Danny, Tobin sends Tiffany on a nationwide tour shopping malls. She's too young to play in bars. The Beautiful You Celebrating the Good Life Shopping Mall Tour 87 is what it was called. The tour began in the Bergen Mall in Paramus, New Jersey, which is no reason to go to Paramus, New Jersey. Today's song, Feelings of Forever, the final single from the album Tiffany, by Tiffany, obviously, was released in the summer of 1988, and it was considered a flop in most areas of the world, but it was a minor success in the U.S., and the UK. The music video for the single's release failed to generate any success on MTV, where previous videos were hits on that channel. This one crashed and burned. Let's go over the countdown. Canada, number 41. U.S. Billboard Hot 100, number 50. And UK singles, number 52. Now, how do you see that little redhead? She's going to pop up in the corner over here. But if she doesn't, just go right down here where it says direct link to the music video. Click on that. It'll bring you right to it. But I got faith that Tiffany's going to pop up right there. Hit it. I'll see you tomorrow. 